Hey guys, so I'm starting out with my skin and I'm priming using this Tarte Clean Slate Brightening Primer and I'm just applying it all over my face with clean hands. Then I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm in the shade I think light beige. It will be listed down below though. And I'm just blending this onto my skin using a Sigma Flat Top Kabuki. And this is giving me a nice full coverage. Moving on to my brows, I am using the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit and I'm just using this spoolie end first to comb through my brows and then I am just outlining them and filling them in with this pencil. I am in the shade 3 as well if you guys were interested. <laughs> Then I'm going to prime my eyelids using the Benefit Air Patrol Primer. So I'm just applying some to my lids and then blending it out using a large fluff brush from Sigma. Then I'm going into the Tarte Pro Palette and I'm first taking this bone, like kind of skin tone shade, and I'm just setting my entire eyelid. Then going in with some tape on the outer corners of the eyes just so we can create a nice sharp line on the edges. Then I'm taking this color down the bottom of the palette on a E39 brush, I think this one is. And I'm just blending this in as my transition shade. And then I'm taking this beautiful warm toned medium brown shade on an E25 brush and I'm just starting to build this up in the outer corner and through the crease. And then just swapping back to the original blending brush I was using earlier and just blending the edges so it's nice and seamless. So as you can see, I'm going right along where that tape is and that just creates a beautiful like crisp line. I don't know why I called it beautiful, that's kind of weird. Anyway, I'm taking this dark brown from the palette now and I'm pretty much just doing the same thing I did with the warm tone brown. I'm just building it up along that outer corner and then just taking the excess product through the crease. Then I'm going back into the bone color that I used to set the eyelids originally and I'm just highlighting the brow bone with this and it helps just kind of make my colors look even blend more blended. Oh my goodness, can I speak? I'm so sorry. Then I'm taking the E39 brush once again and just blending. And then I'm going in with a denser brush and just taking this dark espresso-y brown shade. And I'm just building this up in the outer corner, taking it along the lash line a little bit and then bringing it through the crease. Then I'm going in with the black shade on the same brush. I love this brush, it's super soft and makes blending really easy. And again, I'm just doing the exact same thing, bringing it along the lash line, the outer corner, and then a little bit into the crease. And then I'm just going back in with the E25 brush and making sure all of those shades are nice and blended together. Now to carve out the crease, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. This is my favorite thing for carving out a cut crease. It is literally the most full coverage concealer in the world. So I'm just applying it and carving just above kind of where my crease is. And then I'm just tapping it out with my finger just to make it sort of blended. And here I'm just going back in with the E25 brush with no additional product and I'm just blending those edges very, very softly. And again, with the domed blending brush, I'm doing the exact same thing. And then back in with the E25 brush just for a little bit more blending because you can literally never blend enough. And then I wanted to add some more warmth again because it kind of got blended away with all the blending going on. So I just picked up some more of that shade and took it on sort of just in the crease. Then I'm taking the white, like matte white 
shade from the palette and I'm just setting where I have cut the crease. So I'm just patting that onto the lid and then I'm just going back in with the domed blender once again with no product on it and making sure those edges are blended. Then for the fun part we are taking this Tarte Eye Jewels eyeliner. So I'm taking the just plain eyeliner, it's just like a metallic gold liner first and I'm waiting till that sets and then I'm using the glitter side and just going over the top and as you can see I sort of just went above where all of those shades sort of stop and the skin tone starts if that makes any sense and it's not perfect it doesn't really have to be it's just a little bit of fun and now I'm doing a winged liner using a model's prefer liquid eyeliner and I did stuff up my right eye after I applied my false lashes I tried to fix up the line and ended up stuffing it up but just let's just not focus on that so I applied the eyeliner removed the tape and then I tight lined my eyes using this Rimmel scandalize eyeliner pencil Then I just gave my eyelashes a quick curl and applied a coat of the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Then the falsies I'm going to apply are a brand called Klepke Lashes and these are the most beautiful lashes in the entire world, I swear. They are so gorgeous. So I just plonked those onto my eyeballs. And that I'm just concealing my under eyes and the center of my face using Urban Decay or, I mean, Naked Skin Concealer. Um, and yeah, I'm just blending it out using the Concealer Blend Kabuki Brush from Sigma, which you guys know is my favorite. So I'm just patting it out and sort of doing buffing motions. And then to set everything in place, I'm using this Astralis Pressed Powder in the shade Natural. I started off using the Sigma EF35 brush, I'm sorry. And I started setting everything and realized that I could be using a big brush like this one. So I moved on to a massive brush just to set the rest of my face um, so I could apply my bronzer over the top. And the bronzer I'm using is the Benefit Hula Bronzer, which is an oldie but a goodie. And I'm just carving out my cheekbones basically and bronzing up around my forehead and my temples and all of those kinds of areas. Then for blush, I'm using NARS Deep Throat Blush and I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending it backwards. Then I'm using the ever so beautiful smelling Dandelion Twinkle from Benefit to highlight those cheekbones and as you can see this is a gorgeous highlight, it is absolutely incredible. So I'm highlighting all of my face basically, I'm just dipping my face in this. And then for lips I lined them first using the Rimmel Lip Liner in the shade Addiction. So I just pretty much outlined my lips and then filled them in a little bit and then I use this Rimmel I think it's called the number one lipstick in I dare you or something like that but it will be listed down below as with everything else then back onto the under eyes I'm mixing the warm tone brown with that deep brown and I'm just blending that underneath the eyes and then using my um, original blending brush just to make sure the edges are soft and then I'm taking this other warm toned kind of brown and I am using that little domed blending brush to just basically smoke out the lower lash line a little bit more. And then going in with the black on an E20 brush, I'm just smudging this right into my lower lash line. Then I'm just highlighting the inner corners using the Dandelion Twinkle, which is what I used before. But then I did decide I wanted some sparkle in there. So, oh, first I'm lining my waterline using my black liner. But here I'm just going in with that glitter that I used on the eyes before, just highlighting in the inner corner and adding a little pop of sparkle there as well. Then I just applied some lower lash mascara and that completed the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It's super glam and super fun and I love filming it for you guys. So yeah, 
give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you guys very soon.